Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wildberry Island, where we are now celebrating the complete transformation of the Wildberry Research Center. Look at this place, you guys. Oh my gosh, I had no idea that updating the house could make everything look so awesome. We've got all sorts of beautiful cobblestone rocks and a beautiful rocky roof. Now decorating the top of our Wildberry Research Center. Also, I just realized I'm not wearing pants. One moment, it appears that I have misplaced my pants. There we go, that feels a little less breezy and a lot better. <laughs> But welcome back, everybody! Oh, I am so excited to be able to get to work taking care of Wildberry right now. And as you guys can tell, it is actually Saturday for me at the moment, and that's because you guys have been enjoying, on Saturday, the live stream of my wonderful husband, Chips. He actually showed up on a live stream. We went on a cute museum date, we wore all of that fashion, and I was finally able to share it with you guys. But. We have a lot to do before Earth Day, so of course we're still going to be doing some work today on Saturday, especially because somebody new has moved into town with Margie! So Margie has actually moved in. Oh, hey guys! Oh, Cranston, you're naked again. I guess I guess maybe I was just feeling a little bit like Cranston walking around with like no pants on. Uh, but look, 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 look! Margie has moved in! I am so impressed. So she actually has a house very similar to her friend Annalisa, and we're gonna go in and visit with her in just a moment. But Margie has moved in. Everybody is out and about. Sky is doing more yoga in her front yard as always. And I saw, look at that! There's somebody at the campsite too. So we've got a lot to do today. And because Earth Day is coming up, I also wanted to try doing a lot of work to prepare for that. So hopefully we will be able to take care of the many, many flowers that I actually have in my pockets right now. <laughs> okay, I had to joke with Chips. I went to Home Island because our Home Island on his Switch actually has more pansies. And if you guys recall, we are actually trying to go ahead and to make as many flower crowns as we possibly can for all of the villagers using either the cosmos flower crown the hyacinth flower crown or the pansy flower crown and actually the pansy flower crown and the cosmos flower crown are my favorites because they have beautiful leaves on them and the pansy flower crown is actually probably my favorite favorite but unfortunately we cannot buy pansy and we cannot buy cosmos seeds from the nooklings they don't offer those kinds of seeds they just want to give me roses and hyacinths and windflowers so i'm gonna have to find someone to be able to visit and buy tons and tons of pansies from but until then i want to work on making some new gardens to prepare for earth day so that we're able to harvest up as many of the flowers that we need to make a whole bunch of the really cool flower themed DIY objects. Like the garden wagon. I wanna make a whole bunch of leaves. I wanna be able to make a whole bunch of like these cute tulip surprise boxes to put around town. And absolutely these mum cushions. These mum cushions are so ridiculously cute. And I even wanna make some of these pansy tables and some of these windflower fans and just kind of like scatter them around the village because they look so perfect as decorations for Earth Day. And Leaf will show up on the 22nd, so we want to be prepared for him then. Yeah, so that's kind of the goal today. I, I went over to Chips and I's home island and I was a little goat, very fitting for the adorable new hat that we have, and I kind of snagged a whole bunch of the pansies that we had growing there. And I got two of the very rare pink windflower plants that I was growing behind my house on Home Island. So today I want to try setting up some specialized gardens to protect and propagate some of the rare hybrid flowers. And I realized where better to set that garden up than the special event island, which I have neglected for too long. We need to come over here to special event island and we need to do some terraforming and some transforming. And I realized we should go ahead and move. <gasps> Peacock butterfly! Oh no, but I have broken. Okay, we've got to make a new net real quick. The peacock butterfly is mocking me. Okay, it's not mocking me. It's too precious and beautiful to mock me. All right, come on, one more, one more. I just need one more, then I can catch that peacock butterfly. There we go. All right, let's do this. 
But I was really like struggling earlier trying to figure out where we should actually put some of the gardens to really be able to propagate the flowers because they're just kind of like strewn in my front yard right now. And it occurred to me because it's going to be Earth Day soon, decorating Special Event Island with a whole bunch of little mini gardens, maybe with some like nice fencing for once. You guys know how much I resist the fencing. I like a nice organic look. But even this is beginning to look a little too organic for me. So I thought we could go ahead and we could make um, several little gardens where we just have three or so of the hybrid flowers kind of lined up. And we could put a whole bunch of watering cans and some of the beautiful flower DIY objects, which again are, let's see if I can find them are these gorgeous things all lined up on Special Event Island. And then we can try to put down objects that will convince the villagers to go over and visit there too. Oh, look, the peacock butterfly came to us. Haha! -ha! Patience really paid off. Excellent. Ah, that makes me really happy. All right, so that's kind of the plan today. There's so much to do on Wildberry Island, just like there is always so much to do in the zoo with zoo crafting, that I could get distracted very easily, but I wanna greet Margie. I wanna go see who's at the campsite. Oh, and when I went over to Chips and I's home island to be a billy goat and to kind of snag up all of the plants or all of the flowers that we needed, um, I also ran into Celeste again, and Celeste actually was at Chips and I's home island last night, and she taught me a new recipe that kind of had my jaw on the floor, guys, because I thought it was going to be some cute little astrology-like recipe, and actually it's this iron wand. Literally a pipe! This makes me think about playing Clue, like it was the butler in the library with the iron pipe. That's what this looks like! So I did wish on a bunch of stars while I was billy goading up all of the pansies on our home island and uh, We should find star fragments on the beach as a result and we could make an iron wand if we wanted I think I'm okay right now, but that is something that she taught me So noted also there's a balloon I think Yes, there's a balloon. Oh, and there's KK. Yes, KK slider is visiting and by now, you guys will know if I was successful or not. But I am going to try to make a goal, you guys, to go ahead and to have a stream! To have a stream every Saturday. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull it off yet, because today is like Saturday afternoon. You will already know if I managed to be successful or not. But I'm going to do my best to start streaming at least every Saturday so that we can all visit with Wildberry and enjoy KK Slider doing some concerts together. Let's see if we can talk to him. Hey, what's buzzing? Name's KK Slider. I'm in town for a spell, playing tunes before I hit the road again. I'm not taking requests right now. I just want to do my thing. Let the music take me where it wants to be. I'll start taking song requests around 6 p.m. Come and catch me then, you dig? All right, so hopefully we'll be able to do our live stream. We'll have to see. You guys will know by now, but that, that's my goal. If I didn't do it yesterday, then look out this week. I'm going to try really hard, even if it's going to be a new thing for me, to stream on Saturday evenings here on Wildberry. And together we can begin to sort out all of these piles of flowers and try to make sense of them. All right. Gosh, there's so much to do again. All right, let's start at the beginning by going to greet Margie. That seems like a good thing to do. We'll start there, and then we'll work our way through everything else. Oh, Ursula's just over here singing the KK Aloha. I wonder if she's excited that KK Slider's visiting. What's up, Groom? Life here is pretty rad, Groom. I mean, it's not perfect, but what is? Oh, thanks, Ursula. I'll try to make it more perfect. And let's go ahead and visit with Margie. Oh, I probably should take off my little sheep horns first. She won't know I'm human. She'll think I'm one of them. <gasps> Look at her cute house! Margie, hi! Siri, so sweet of you to check in on me. I'm glad you encouraged me to go ahead and move in while I was staying here at the campsite. I still have some unpacking to do, but I should be done by tomorrow. Let's catch up then, Tootie. Yay! All right! So Margie's gonna move in. We can try to remember to send her a letter at some point today. And welcome her. 
I really need to like clean up all of the <laughs> Oh, more pansies! Okay, guys, we're gonna actually pick these pansies because that will give them time to regrow before it is time to turn them into tons of pansy crowns for KK or for uh, Earth Day. I was starting to say KK Slider, but all right. So we're gonna be a billy goat today, and we're going to harvest all of the flowers that we need. And I actually want to create a whole bunch of new gardens, not just the garden on Special Event Island, but I want to start going around the entire area that we have got all over our island and figuring out where to make special plateaus of different kinds of plants. So we're going to make special plant plateaus, like little corners where it will be all mums, little corners where it will be all pansies, and hopefully they will look really cool. Oh gosh, but I have list I have listed like way too many projects. So sorry about that. I have a lot of hope for the many, many things that we're gonna be doing. So it's easy to get caught up in that. Hey kitty! There you are, Mrow. And looking fabulous as ever, I see. I hope you have something exciting planned for today. It can be quite invigorating to change your routine. <gasps> kitty! Man, that's some encouragement to do some streaming if I ever heard it. Alright, meanwhile, Sky, how are you doing? Good afternoon, Airmail. Nice to see your smile. Having fun, Airmail? Oh, she's so nice. Cranston, you're still naked. Hey there, what game should I play? The best part of taking a nap in a tree is how the tree puts you on the ground just before you wake up. <laughs> I love him. I love him so much, you guys. Cranston is just so perfect. All right, let's go ahead and wiggle over and see who's visiting the campsite today. Because I'm always so excited to meet campsite people. And sometimes they teach you cool new DIYs. <gasps> it's Molly! You guys, it's Molly the duck! Oh, how exciting! This is why we need to work hard in order to be able to create an even better place for Wildberry. So that when we have adorable little quackity visitors like this, we'll be able to know that she's getting the most out of the, her wild life experience here. Molly, how are you? It'd be great ho to take home a wooden block chest that was made here. Anyway, just an idea I had. Oh, she wants- I can do that for you. Yay! Oh, I happen to have a DI recipe for making those if you need it. Alright, thank you, thank you. I'll be around until the morning. I really appreciate your offer. Nice! Okay, so we're gonna learn a new DIY. Oh, I have the star wand uh, that I picked up on our home island last night. Wooden block chest, nice. We'll make Molly a wooden block chest today. I feel like taking care of the campers is one of our responsibilities uh, as a, you know, wildlife ranger and educator of this island. It really makes me want to like spruce the island up and make it tidier so that she can understand what she's looking at. All right. Was that a balloon? When it's really windy like this, it's hard to tell. Oh, look at the star pieces. Excellent. We'll check up top for star pieces really quickly. And then maybe we'll make Molly. Oh, yay! There's our DIY for the day. Man, my pockets are so full. All right. But yeah, guys, I know I've listed off like way too many ideas and projects for what I want to do. And we won't be able to do it all just now. But that's why hopefully the streams will help. And that's why if we just take it one step at a time, we'll settle into what life feels like here on Wildberry. The ever-changing and invigorating... Oh! Kitty just changed! Ooh! Do I still have those glasses on me? I do! I have those tortoise specs, but I don't think I can give them to her. Dang it! I can't give them to her yet. So, Siri, have you met our newest resident yet? I'd love to make my hello sooner rather than later, but I'd hate to interrupt their unpacking. Alright, I'll have to mail her those specs. Alright, any more- oh yay, star pieces! Alright, let's search along here. More star pieces, don't mind if I do. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I'm getting so caught up in thinking I have to do everything at once. Because it's about living life out here on Wildberry. One butterfly. One little project at a time. All right. <gasps> Look, we have another beautiful lily growing. Yes, that's exactly the kind of awesomeness that I want to see. And that is one of the reasons why we really should put some time 
into making sure that we have specialized gardens so that we can always visit with the lilies and make sure that we're watering them every day to get the rare plants. Okay, let's go ahead and run over here and see what it would take to make a wooden block chest for our new friend Molly. Very cute. A wooden block toy and softwood. Wow, that actually requires a lot more than I was expecting. All right, wooden block toy. Wooden block toy. Hmm, let's just go to the everything tab. And we want to treat our, our tourist really well. So wooden block toy needs softwood. All right, here's some softwood. Let's see if we have enough to craft all of it. But we want to treat our like wildlife campers really well since they are coming basically to the research center and the wilderness of Wildberry. All right, let's see if we have some softwood inside. We could collect it, but we have so much to do today. Oh, I have so many DIYs to take care of. Oh my gosh, I love it. There is just so much to do. And speaking of DIYs, let's see what we found in the message bottle today. Dear Mysterious Stranger, a weird DIY TV show I watched at 2 a.m. told me how to make this. So I did. Here's the recipe. It's real easy. My head was stuck in my shirt and I still did the DIY. Oh, it's Bew! <laughs> the DIY Bew who D-I-H. Do D-I-H? Hmm. DIY is do it yourself. Did it himself, I think. Maybe. A stone table. Do I already know this? Okay, I think I have an idea. We should start gathering up the DIYs we already know. We should put them upstairs into the library, and then we should do little giveaways of the DIYs and a bunch of special items. One day we will achieve that as well. So much to do, I love it. All right, now that we have some softwood, let's go craft up this lovely dresser for our new guest. We gotta check the mail at some point soon. There we go, let's craft. All right, wooden block chest. I'll customize it for her if we actually have a Nook Miles that asks for customizing, so we'll check that really quickly too. All right. Made some DIYs. And, nope, no Nook Miles for customizing, so we'll just give it to her as is. Alright, let's pop across. Yay! I'm so glad that Molly is visiting. And I love that we have the like upgraded little waterfall that we gave to the campers. But I do wish we could make this area even nicer for her. Maybe I'll pick some peaches and like put them on the table. Hello, Molly! We brought you your chest! Oh, could it be? Did you make me the wooden block chest? Yep. All right. Oh my gosh, my pockets are so full. I love the idea of bringing home a wooden block chest made here. You're the best. I'm so excited. As a thanks, I want you to have this alpinist dress. <gasps> really? I can't take any more home right now, but I do want to collect more wild berry souvenirs. I'll be leaving tomorrow, but I feel like I'm falling in love with this place and the folk that live here. In case you ever feel the urge to invite me to the campsite again, here's this is me encouraging you. Oh, thank you, Molly. Let's see what this little alpinist dress looks like. I bet it's gonna go perfect with the fact that like we're a little, we're a little like plant eating goat right now. <gasps> it's so cute! Oh my goodness! All right, it's very cute. I don't know if it's something I can wear at the moment because I feel like I'm in work mode. Oh gosh, and the day is going by. Let's see if we have... Remarkable Remodeler, nice. Because we finished remodeling our home and we got Home Transformer as a result. Oh, that's such a cute little alpinist dress. My goodness. All right, Oop, and there's a peacock. Oh, no, 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 it's one of the rare green butterflies. We've got to catch it and see if we have three of these yet so that I can get a bird wing butterfly piece. <gasps> Which reminds me! Gosh, everything is reminding me of everything right now because there's just so much going on. 
But you guys, I actually have a... Let's see if I can find it. I have a present? Where did I get that present from? I have a Cypress bathtub? <gasps> when did I get this? I legitimately don't know where this came from. It really fits the alpinist dress. We're gonna need to make a hot springs now. That is too cool. We're gonna have to make some sort of fun hot springs. Uh, but check this out, guys. Oh, it's gorgeous. Last night when I was at the home island, uh, Flick was actually running around, so I changed over to my account on Chips' Switch to see if I had any bugs hiding in the house there. And sure enough, I had a bunch of beautiful emperor butterflies! So I was able to give Flick three emperor butterflies, even though they no longer will show up until, I think, much later in the year. They were something that only showed up for March. And now we have a gorgeous commission piece that I have brought from my home island to my work island so that we'll be able to use this as another great example of the pollinators who help to take care of all of the flowers for Earth Day. Also, let me go ahead and try out this idea. Somebody had the great idea of trying to see, because this is a surface that you can sit on, these mums, but we're gonna go ahead and try to see if we can put the butterfly models on top of the mum flowers. Ah, it doesn't work. As much as I wish it could, it doesn't work. That is so cool though. I love that idea. All right, so we're gonna have fun with these beautiful models. Excellent. My goodness, what a busy day. Let me go ahead and put my apron back on and my pants. I would really like to have some pants, please. Thank you. And now we've got a bunch of butterflies. Um, rubber apron, label cap from yesterday. I love this bathtub. I can't believe we ended up with this bathtub. All right, focus, Siri. There's way too much to do and I'm excited about potentially streaming tonight. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and put down these flowers over here for now as little decorations. Because we're gonna turn these into, oh, I know where I wanna put them. We're gonna turn these flowers into flower crowns when the time comes. Hey Pierce, what do you think? Hey champ, how you been, Hawkeye? Muse muscle madness! Oh jeez, Pierce, hi! Ooh, I heard shouting is a great way to work the abs. I also heard my neighbors were complaining. Octavian complains about everything, so don't take it personally, Pierce. Alright, let's actually put the flowers down right here. We can put away the bonsais because the time has come to put away the beautiful bonsais. And we'll display some of the pansies. There we go. Well, let's actually display the yellow pansies here. There. I love it. And we'll go around and kind of spruce things up. <gasps> Maybe we could put a little stall over here. Let me see if I can show you guys what those stalls look like. This stall right here. We could put a little stall right over here and we could pile more of the flowers we're collecting on there because it is time to kind of wrap up the cherry blossom season. I can leave out, I mean, to be fair, we could leave out the cherry blossom petals. Even the bonsai, if I wanted to be really fair, for Earth Day. But I think we want to try a different theme. I'll leave out the umbrella because the umbrella really is suiting. All right, let's put these away and grab some wood and try making our very first stall. I'm all over the place today. Hang in there, guys. As we show up at Wildberry and as we take care of our adventures here every day, there will be some days where no doubt I will be like this, excitable, dashing from place to place. I just can't even seem to hold myself down just because there's so much excitement of things I want to see happen on the island. But we'll get there. All right, cherry blossom bonsai. I love the bonsais. Definitely going to decorate with the bonsais. And then let's grab... Ooh, I'm actually pretty low on normal wood. Noted. We'll have to take care of that. Pop on out. And then there's some normal wood down here. Gotcha. 
And let's try crafting up that stall real quick. There we go. Yay! These stalls are gonna be so useful. And let me show you guys a really cool trick. Because at first you may think, hmm, I don't know about this stall, Siri. Like, shouldn't you use something else to put down items? Because this looks kind of boring. It's just a little bit of a wooden stall and it's just got like a plain little roof. But let me show you guys something really cool. Let's come over with our little customization, our fine-tuned paints and paintbrushes. Fun fact, in real life I actually have a beautiful paintbrush set that's very, very well used from my grandmother. And I inherited it from her after she passed away, and I take very good care of these paintbrushes, so they're probably close to 40 to 50 years old because she used them for so long. Uh, and because I take such good care of them, they're in great condition and they're what I use to paint all of the little like mushrooms and other things that I make for all of our adventures like that we put in the Etsy shop. Uh, so all of our adventures. I meant for all of our little figurines. I really am all over the place today. Sorry guys, I'm just really excited about Wildberry. Alright, so there's lots of different variations you can do with the stall in order to make them fun different colors. And I think we're going to make a green stall. And as you see, you can do like different stripes. The green stripes alone would be perfect for us. There's waves. You can do different patterns that actually we have gotten. See, look at how different all of these look now. All of these patterns that we have actually gotten from Sable, which is very, very sweet of her. Or you could go the extra mile and look for custom designs. And behold, I have dug up some custom designs, like this gorgeous green floral stripe that we could use. There's also little flower information signs. You could do these, which this is just so cute. Oh my gosh, I love this. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, let's try, I want green, and then can I use custom design? Oh, can I do like green stripes? and then custom design. No, it'll default to, and just do these leaves. That would be so cool if you could just cover the front with leaves. <laughs> I think that it'll actually um, default to the yellow top. So let's see, none. If I wanted to do like a green top or black, I mean, we could do black. And then, oh, look at that, you guys! Let's try this one! It's a little darker than I wanted for celebrating Earth Day, but I really want to see how this looks, because we've covered this with flower, like with leaves now. If you use a transparent piece on it, then you get this really cool design. I think he's singing KK Bubblegum right now. Oh, that's so cool. Then you come over here, That looks so cool! Oh my gosh! It's not quite the color that I wanted to put over here, but it will basically match with everything. And then we can go ahead and put down some of the flowers. Like all these pansies. That I'm planning on working with. There we go. <laughs> Look at those! Okay, so that's what you could do as an example for things that you could create with the stall, which I really like. And this area will look a lot nicer once we start decorating more things. I don't know if this stall is the one that... I'm pretty sure this isn't the one that we'll end up using forever. However, I wanted to show off how you really could use transparent pieces to make it look really cool and still covered in even more plants. Also, I kind of feel like crafting up one of the plant things that we're trying to save up for. Maybe the pansy table? Or the tulip surprise box? That might be nice. Let's craft up a tulip surprise box, just real quick. Because I think that that would help to decorate that area even more. All right, let's wiggle this way. We're gonna gather up these red tulips. And by picking them today, hopefully they will start regrowing. So before Earth Day, we'll be able to harvest up even more from them. All right, there we go. In fact, we'll gather up more red tulips because now we can just use them as decoration. Here, I can put down a red tulip, just one. Let's see. Grab one. 
and place item. Ta-da! Yay! Oh, well, we're over here. I can go ahead and clean up these cherry blossom items, too. We're gonna make this into a reading nook, but it can be like a mini garden for now, too. Um, and let's put down these yellow roses here. All pieces that we're actually going to use, all flowers we're going to use for crafting in the future. All right, and we'll make a surprise box real quick. We can actually clean up. I'm gonna miss this. I think I wanna put down like some sort of, maybe we'll put down some sort of stone path here. But this, this, is, this is for the good of Wildberry and finally making sense of all of the many, many things we have to do. All right, yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll come in here and put down like some cobblestone with the terraforming at some point in the near future. Man, Octavian has not moved. He is fascinated by KK and I didn't expect that. All right, let's go ahead and craft. With so much to do every day, a tulip surprise box. Then I want to go inside and talk to Skye because I'm wondering if she's working on a DIY. And I'm kind of DIY addicted. All right. Maybe I should move one of the butterflies over here. That might be really pretty. Outdoor picnic set, blossom viewing, and tulip surprise box. There we go. See, it's so cute because it has that little, the little royal like princess pop out of it, and it's a little bit of a music box. And we can start putting items like that and then somewhere for people to sit down, like a nice garden bench over here, which I think we actually know the DIY for the garden bench now. <gasps> it's not as organized as I meant for it to be, but I do think we're actually starting to get some new decorations down around town. Let's see. Yeah, there it is, the iron garden bench right there. And I do know the DIY for it. Let's make it and customize it and put it over there too. I kind of wish we had customized a green roof or like a green building. Green stall. There we go. Yeah, bear with me, my friends. I really am skittered tonight. But it's because I'm so excited and I've made a huge mess. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Look at this place. <laughs> how would you begin to make sense of how to clean it? It's very easy to get distracted by all of it. All right, let's customize this garden bench and see what we have. <gasps> Blue! I want a blue garden bench. That would be so pretty. Or a white garden bench. Blue would be so colorful. A white garden bench might match everything a lot easier. And so would a black garden bench. But I want this to be super colorful and fun. Green garden bench. Why don't I just go with the green garden bench? Why not Siri? Just be bold. I love green. All right, let's come back over. And then let's go ahead, iron garden bench. Oh, I do love that. Guys, I love this. This is so fun. All right, now I feel like we're starting to make a proper place for our villagers to really relax, enjoy, hopefully see something fun. Let's put the surprise box right here. Is that, is that enough? Okay, that's not enough space, unfortunately. So we'll pull this down a little bit. And then we'll figure out how to lay this out. I want to put down, ooh, maybe like some cute watering cans. We could put down watering cans here and there to represent like the villagers being able to buy things. <gasps> I know, let's go buy a couple saplings from the Nooklings real quick. And we'll sell the butterflies while we're at it. All right, Nooklings. <gasps> a science set? Oh my gosh, boys, I've got to have it. I absolutely have to have this lab experiment set. Totally. 100%. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh my gosh. That is so completely exciting. We actually have a really, really cool garden set now. Yes, 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 yes. Also, this would be perfect to put outside of Sky's house. <gasps> Maybe we can give it to her. There we go. We're going to give her that, that exercise ball because she's always doing yoga outside her house. I love that idea. 
All right, I, w I would like to sell boys. Let's go ahead and we're gonna sell not the bird wing, but all of the other lovely butterflies that we have. Um, outdoor picnic set, no. Those are limited, very hard to make things. So you can't have those boys. However, you can have the retro sweater because I haven't seen, well, have the rubber apron, it's creepy. The other things I, I kind of want to give to the villagers as gifts. All right, thank you guys. And let's go ahead and wiggle over here. Yes, I am curious about what's in the cabinet. And I actually want to buy some saplings from them. So we're gonna go ahead and buy one sapling. And we're gonna use it as decoration, which is gonna be really cute. So one sapling. Ooh, I like that arch window set. All right, thank you guys. I can't believe I got a lab set. That's gonna be so much fun to work with. I can't wait, like, we could set up a little mini, like, outdoor laboratory. I still want to make these gardens into something where we could pick a villager and then have it display that villager's personality, basically. Uh, but let's come over here and we can actually go ahead and drop... Oh, cute! Drop the little sapling so it can just be like a little decorative piece. Yeah, we're gonna have some fun with this. I don't know exactly what we're gonna do with it, but the only thing you can do is begin your experiments. If we sit around waiting forever, then of course I'm going to like second guess everything. And let's come and give Skye her exercise ball. And then I wanna do a little terraforming for Event Island, which maybe we'll work on tonight during the stream. So much to do. And then uh, go ahead and check the mail as well. Gosh, so much going on. I'd hope you stop by airmail. You remember our recent visitor, Big Chips Airmail? I guess maybe I should have asked if you remembered our recent visitor. So-called something or other. Big Chips the so-called something or other. If someone earns a title like that, the least we can do is use it. Oh, Sky, you're adorable. Here, you go ahead. I got you a yoga ball because... I think that you'll very much enjoy it. You're always doing yoga. She's so happy. And she likes the color white. Oh, a coffee cup. She gave us a fresh cup of coffee, you guys. Cute. Thank you, Sky. I think the other day she was talking to Cranston about doing, um, like, a whole bunch of cake. Like, she was making coffee cake. So she must be a very good chef. One day, we will have to set up, like, a little coffee area as well. Alright, let me go ahead and see what this looks like real quick. <gasps> it's so cute! It has little green flowers on it! I think this is actually different from all of the other coffee cups that we have gotten so far. So we have now gotten a new design. Very fun. Alright, is anyone else in their house? Julian! I was wondering who we haven't seen. Maybe he's building something, too. Yes! Prince Julian! Prince Julian, go ahead and teach us. Like, I will be your apprentice. I am totally excited about this. Look at his house. I always am holding out hope that maybe, just maybe, he will, like, give us or teach us something to do with his amazing home. He's feeling pretty joyful, too. So, fingers crossed, Julian's about to teach us something good, guys. There we go. And, I mean, we look like a little Aries ram, right? Welcome to the house of the Julian, the house of Julian. Glad you asked. Right now, I'm working on making a wonderful new and amazing ironwood bed. I got the idea to make it from a crazy dream I had the other night. Do you want to hear more about it? Either the dream or the ironwood bed? Sweet. All right, so he's forgotten the dream, but we know an ironwood bed now. People are, like, obsessed with the ironwood set, so that's pretty lucky if you ask me. Something that fashionable would, of course, be something that Prince Julian would know how to make. Yay! All right, let's go ahead and check out what that looks like. All right, that'll be under everything. We've learned over 200 different DIY recipes, by the way, you guys. Very nice, Julian. Not the gold-encrusted bathtub I was expecting to learn from you, but it'll definitely do. <laughs> oh, 
<sighs> Alright guys, so let's continue to try to get a little bit of wild berry work done. I do want to try to do a little bit of terraforming for Special Event Island tonight. And to show you guys the way I want to try- Oh! <gasps> Peacock Butterfly! Don't think I didn't see you! Absolutely saw you, my friend. Excellent. Excellent. Maybe I should start keeping Peacock Butterflies to show off down here as well. Very exciting. All right. Special Event Island, don't think I have forgotten you. Soon this will host a whole bunch of micro gardens to hopefully make good use of the space and propagate a lot of rare hybrid plants and prepare us for the beauty of whatever Earth Day ends up being. So to make this space look super nice, here's my idea. We're gonna do some construction real quick. <sighs> And I'm going to show you guys a trick I've been thinking about. So, how are we going to make it so that we're actually able to get from our home to this island, right? Okay, I think I need to change it to the water one, actually. Waterscaping permit. Well, we could smooth this out and then put a bridge right here, right? Except remember, a bridge prevents you from being able to have plants up along the corners. And I love having lots and lots of plants, so I worry about that a little bit. I'm quite concerned. I, I do want to be able to have plenty of plants. And I wonder how small... Hmm. Hmm. Like, how narrow should the river be with Special Event Island? Should it just be like... Like this? Should we do two wide or should we do three wide? So Special Event Island has a little bit more room. Let's actually look at the map. I think we could stand to increase its size along some edges. Hmm. How many spaces more to the other side? It would be three spaces to the other side. So I do think we'll fill this in right here. But I'm gonna show you guys my idea. Instead of building a bridge, and I'm sure you guys know how to do this already, we're actually gonna come over and we're gonna make a stepping stone. Watch this. Ta-da! So now if we wanna be able to get over here, all we have to do is just skip across. We don't have to worry about making a bridge. We'll have a spot where we can still do a whole bunch of gardening. And we can make this look more like a stepping stone and a little skipping stone by putting a stone path down. Okay, we'd have to put the stone path down before we terraformed it. I didn't know that. But I love this! So I think I'm actually going to make this stepping stone spot maybe over here. So it's a little bit more symmetrical in the center of the island, or in the center of the water. But these are the ways where I'm hoping... There we go. And now we have... Okay, hang on. Back up a little. Oh. No, no, no. I want you to go away. There's one. There's two. There we go. Ta-da! A skipping stone! Perfect! And that way we'll be able to get over to the island without having to hurt any of the plants that I want to have growing up at the edges. So very happy about that. And I want to try to make a few spots where we can get across on similar skipping stones. Hmm. So maybe a skipping stone like right here? Let's see if that would work. All right, does that work? It does, look at that! So we can put a skipping stone right there as well. So that that way we don't have to worry about the expense or the hassle of putting in a bridge. Oh my goodness, and can I, <gasps> ta-da! And now we can get up here where I'm always trying to chase down all of the peacock butterflies and we don't have to worry about anything. And I can even make that a little bit bigger since plants can't grow on that spot anyway. Look at that! All right, that is a huge improvement to this area that I have been hoping to do for ages. Whoops, did not mean to improve that. Okay, let's just 
No, I wanted that there. <laughs> All right, doing a, the terraforming here. No, 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 don't do that. Doing the terraforming is a little bit of a tricky thing. There, but with time, I think I will finally figure this out. Excellent, all right, so that's something I've been thinking about for a long time. Now we have the ability to get to the other side easier. We can add that skill in over here. There we go. And this will be one of the first huge steps we do to try to improve this area. Because I do think Special Event Island is going to need to be much bigger. No, don't, no, not that much bigger. All right. That will be nice. That'll be really fun to do the terraforming, actually. That's gonna be oddly relaxing, uh, I think. So I think I'm really actually going to enjoy that quite a bit. Watch out, little fish, fish. And then we'll remove this spot here. Excellent. And I think we might have to play with it to make sure that there's like still plenty of space for fish to be able to spawn along the riverway too. Though there's a lot of riverways, so don't despair if like we suddenly start making this a little bit smaller. There's still a lot of places that will remain very wild and wildberry. Nice. No, stop. <laughs> okay, well I won't I won't fuss too much more with digging in the dirt, but this is very rewarding. Like, cha-cha, cha-cha! You can just change everything so easily. Beautiful. And now, we can go ahead and get to the other side. No problem. <laughs> well, I'm grateful we have the bridges, but now we are not constrained by their rules. We go by our own laws here. That'll actually be great right over here. Let's see if I can actually... I know I said I wouldn't do any more, but then I, I got a little tempted. All right, what if, is that one going to be too far apart? No, we can do it, we can do big jumps. All right, sweet. There we go, guys. We'll have to see if that blocks fish from being able to come, in which case we'll just move the jump to over there. But I love it, so all right. The terraforming projects will really help out with adding to the special event island. Now the peacock butterflies will never be able to elude us again. I hear a balloon, so let's get the balloon and then let's go ahead and check the mail. And like I said guys, there is so much to do that I understand that I'm a little all over the place and being silly, but don't go in the river, thank you. But we'll get there. The whole point isn't to be super fast and make tons of progress. It's to live out a happy, happy life here in Wildberry. <gasps> what even is this? Wow. Because <laughs> you never know what surprises await us. So let's pop over just really quickly. Check the mail. See if there's anything of note. <gasps> a gift from my beloved Chips. Wall paper from Chips. And then we have a gift. Do not open for high fashion eyes only. Don't go shoot budding without it from Backlog. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put this aside because that's probably for Chips. And then from Label, we actually have some little tickets, the tailor tickets to turn in. Okay, so this is from Chips. A wild wood wall. Sweet, thank you, darling. He has sent us a new DIY recipe. He knows I'm very addicted to those. All right, let's check this out. What is it, what is it? Ooh, good for our sauna. We could totally make a sauna, oh my gosh. We have so much to do. Next time, I'm gonna make a to-do list and we're gonna take it one step at a time, I promise. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. We have redesigned the Wildberry Research Center. We have now made a whole bunch of adorable skipping stones so that we don't ever have to worry about being constrained. Constrained, I say, by the difficulty of getting past the bridges again. And it is just the beginning of our continued efforts to try to improve our island in time to celebrate Earth Day with Leaf himself. 
So if you guys could do please leave a like for our wild berry adventures. Oh no, I messed up the, the picnic. Oh no. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.